SilkCityHotSauce.com. Why am I yelling? SilkCityHotSauce.com. You know it. I talk about it every week. What the fuck is your problem? Get the Silk City Hot Sauce now. Use the promo code Zumok. Get 15% off your order and buy my goddamn hot sauce. The number one selling hot sauce at Silk City. Bob Bickerstaff doesn't have shit on me. Fuck you, Aaron Berg. SilkCityHotSauce.com. Florida's greatest tropical sauce. Mango Madness. It's my sauce. I'm looking at a bottle. I'm out, Jeff Levine. That's how fast this thing is fucking selling. So send me some more hot sauce and you go buy my hot sauce and sign up to my goddamn Patreon. I think if I start yelling at people, you're going to start doing it. So go sign up for my fucking Patreon already. It's $3 a month. It's 12 fucking quarters. I don't know what's taking so goddamn long. It's the best way you can support a comedian in a pandemic. So bonus content. You get the episode a week early. Go sign up. Patreon.com backslash sit down. Zoom on. Let's get the show started. All right. It's a sit down Zumok podcast. SDC Z man's. Yeah. Look at that. A special effect, Tyler. I like it. It's uh freaking on him. You're doing great, man. You're like Michael. Winslow. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with another episode. It's Florida's greatest Florida's most wanted. The has been baller, the Lawson's chip dip consumer, the Z man coming live and direct from Tampa, Florida city of champions with me is Tyler who is an undisclosed location. Don't tell anybody where you're from. It's just a bunker here. Yeah. I, want you, I want you to be a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I think we've already said Cincinnati, um, oh, okay. but this place right here is actually not Cincinnati. So let's call it your, uh, let's call it something. Your layer layer. <laughs> is it layer? Am I saying it right? No, I think you're saying it right. It just, it's, uh, you know, I feel like I need like a, a chemistry set behind me or something, you know, some Tyler, neons and Tyler's bat cave. <laughs> there you go. In the bat cave. <laughs> yeah. That's where you're, you're going to be in the bat cave. That's where you're at. I love it. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. You know, we were just talking, I, uh, I'm dealing with like putting a fence up in my, in my, uh, house at my house and just the, uh, the zoning stuff and what the city allows, you know, whether the fence is going to start the back corner of your house or the front corner of your house is a fucking issue. So like, it's just the smallest things are just like, you know, it's like, Oh, this is going to be another $75 for you to get an okay for that. It's like, wow, just lay it out at the beginning. And I'll know, you know, this fence, one side of the fence is up to $5,000. So that's how I'm doing. What's it like being a real person? <sighs> You know, I'll you, never buy a fence ever. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that I will never own a fence. The fence is to keep the kids in the yard. You know, my daughter, she's the youngest. And what she likes to do is just book it towards the road. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, you got to keep them alive at least till they're 18. So, you know, five I thought, grand. I thought maybe you let the kids out the front door like dogs. Most of the time I throw a throw a tennis ball first. Yeah. Go take a <laughs> shit in the yard. <laughs> My son likes to piss in the backyard. He does do that. Just when you turn around, he just pants everything down. He's like, I'm peeing. Like, Good job, buddy. <laughs> Pissing outside is very underrated. I'm a big fan. I still piss outside all the time. Oh, me too. But I'm usually like, you know, four beers in or, you know, like not, uh, not just like, it's a great day, huh? You know, <laughs> I just peed in the parking lot of side splitters yesterday. All right. Well, you got me beat. Yeah, I was. I went down to see uh, Shane Gillis. We'll get to this. I got a Shane <laughs> Gillis story, but we're going to start it off with I'm shutting it down, Tyler. Yeah, I'm shutting it down for the month. I'm burned out, burned the fuck out. I had a health scare. Really? Yeah, I uh, I fainted Wednesday after my show. I not fainted. on stage. No, I was okay. uh, in the hotel and I went to the doctor and they said, you're seriously dehydrated. <laughs> so you're like, I, was, I haven't even been drinking. Yeah. I, I just, I'm not taking care of myself. I'm just, I've been driving and just, 
I, I, it's been going like a million miles an hour. Like you have a partner you can help out. I don't have shit. So I'm doing Dude, it all myself. I would die like without her and two small children. Yeah. Oh my God. I know where the fire station is in that case, you know, just you know, slow roll, drop them off and go. Yeah. Cause I can't do it by myself. That's. <laughs> and I just realized I, I, I still have that mentality when I first started in stand up, like you, you'd say yes to everything. Cause you, you wanted to make a living at this and <laughs> I still have that. I got to go get that. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. And I do need the money without a doubt. I need the money, but at the same time, I got to think long-term here. That's why I want to build this podcast with you and try to make it into something. Yeah. But I, I can't do it like I used to. Cause when I moved from LA and I was moving to New York, I was just, I was chasing, I was on the road every fucking weekend and it's just too much. Yeah. That's also like a personality thing, you know, to, to just say yes, because saying yes, typically brings you those more opportunities, right. Where like, you know, you always hear like the same of saying no is going to be like, well, people will want you more than it's like, well, not if I'm not already wanted. You know? <laughs> yeah. So that's the balance there. And like, I get it. Like I fall into that all the time of just like, yeah, I could probably do that. I can do that. You know? And then like, before you know it, it's like, Oh, I have a whole family too, that I just forgot about while I was making these commitments, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, but like you said, because I have that counterpart and the family, like that is definitely what keeps me in check. Like if I was just out there alone, I don't. I don't yeah. Know. And I just, I said, listen, man, just don't even talk to the bookers. Just, just focus on your podcast and work on your health. So that's where Are I'm you at. worried about that. Are you, do you think that you'll become irrelevant like no one will reach out to you after a month and like well he dropped off or do you think that they're wise enough to know like well you, know, you just know, took a break I, I i look at comics all the time right like look at bands like bands they'll like go on the road then they'll disappear for a while like the chili peppers i haven't heard anything from them so they take time off so why can't comedians do it like why can't i you know go back in the studio and work on some things <laughs> Yeah. I mean, comparing yourself to the chili peppers is bold, but it's, it's <laughs> the best analogy in the world. I'm, I'm pretty much in the rock and roll hall of fame and <laughs> I've been to it. I've been in it. <laughs> <laughs> Under the bridge downtown. <laughs> but no, I just, my, I, I'm getting, I'm getting older and my, my, I, I don't feel good. I'm out of shape. You know, I'm just not taking care nope. of my eating right. And I'm just like, I got to fucking get my life together. I got to focus on my health. And so I'm going to do a whole cleanse. I'm going to get off social media. I'm just going to be on Patreon and YouTube. That's it. I don't want to see your tweets. I don't want to see your, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm just saying, if you want to talk to me, come over to my Patreon or I'll put stuff on YouTube, but I'm not doing the Facebook. Like you don't even know your fucking password, right? Oh, Facebook. No, it's been six years, five, six years since I've been on it. Uh, I've never had a Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. Just like, I don't need it because I, I have, there's no like self promotion for me to be doing. And the reason I got off of Facebook was kind of that lead up to what was it? 2016 election. Yeah. And like, that's when just dude, people, you know, I'm friends with both sides and they just fucking clashed. And that's when I was like, Oh, I'm out of here. Like You're there's, smart. The, I have no reason to be on here. So I don't even like it. I don't even like it. It's a chore. I don't care what, uh, feel blaze two sixteen with a fake profile pic thinks of my comedy. I don't care if he thinks I suck, uh, you know, whatever. I, it doesn't, I, I don't care anymore. I, I don't need it in my life. I don't want it. It's, it's just not necessary. It's always those people with the, like the, the anime avatar, you know, yeah. as their profile picture, that's like, you fucking suck. Yeah. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> There's honestly like the trolls, they think they're getting to you, but I've heard this consistently for a decade that I sucked from every account, <laughs> nothing you can say is going to affect my day. I've seen every variety of how I suck and it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. I just don't want to see it anymore. It's just like, okay, cool. Scroll, scroll. And I don't know. I just don't want to deal with it. So I'm going to do a cleanse. I'm going to get, I just want to do healthy shit. I want to work out 
and I just want to just work on this podcast. That's it. So yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. I'd like to work out too. I just know I'm not ever going to do it. (laughs) (laughs) Well, when I, when I, I've never been dehydrated where I fainted. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. That's, that's weird. I mean, I, then I'm going I to the doctors again. Hydrated, but uh, yeah, then I'm going to go to doctors again because they they want to do another checkup on me. So there could be some more things wrong. So hopefully I have a. You should go in for one of those like IV things. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll run into some athletes. Oh, where they put like the vitamins in you and stuff. Yeah, yeah. IV bar. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, let me check out the prices, and I might do that. I'll do a little IV bar, right? Yeah, someone on Patreon can pay for it for you you know yeah. pay for my <laughs> iv bar people <laughs> <laughs> um all right let's go to this i saw this news story new zealand weightlifter laurel hubbard on the verge of becoming the first transgender olympian did you see this yeah i saw this this morning and i i'm so confused by not even that like I, like not even to be disrespectful i don't know so is this someone that was a guy now a girl or was a girl now a guy i don't know how it was, i think a guy that's a girl now oh see that's where it's just like total bullshit in this case <laughs> like... the 43 year old hubbard had previously competed in the men's weightlifting competitions before transitioning okay. in 2013 she reportedly okay. is eligible to compete she was reportedly ineligible or eligible to compete in the olympics since 2005 well that, that's a typo on my fucking thing she's been eligible i mean be, yeah i don't know what the i i don't know i what do you think like what's your take on is she so she can compete with the women do they have or yeah she, i think that's what it's saying and i think that's total bullshit i think i think she has a shot then because he had a shot back then too you know like that's Oh, she's, this whole thing. she's gonna fucking win because she was a man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That, it's I mean, bullshit. Yeah, and if anybody's offended by that, go fuck yourself because that's what it is. She used to be a man. She has, and now she's a fucking woman competing against women. And I'm sorry, men are bigger, stronger, and faster. Period. Cancel me. I mean, just just let let it become one combined thing. Then, right? Let the men and the women compete, and then let the you know let the women weightlifters complain when they're not even top 10. I think they should have their own trans, just transgenders against going against transgenders. You know, I mean, there's a reason why Yeah, I'm not against it. You know, just like the, the family restroom section <laughs> like yeah, of, it's like you get, competition. Yeah. You got men, women, <laughs> transgender, you know, or <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm all for it. It gets it's like, it's, this is where it gets murky and this is where sports start to, to fade away aside from like, you know, any sort of shit that's been going on for the past year and all that. And the taking knees and the BLM and all that shit. This is just another thing. It's like, well, I don't care to watch because I know who's going to win. And furthermore, do you think that you would, would you get offended if Laurel Hubbard is like, if you go to bet on her and she's like minus 5,000 to win, it's like, well, no shit. Yeah. Here's the thing. (laughs) Have you ever seen an NBA game? I've watched. Have you seen a WNBA game? Not all the way through. Uh, <laughs> who's bigger, faster, stronger? I'm just, just saying, I'm just asking questions here. Right. And I know the answer. It's, it- it's, and it's the NBA. Yeah. It's, an, it's a, it's a faster game. It's more intriguing. It brings in more viewers and, and that, you know what, Chad, that's also what comes down to the pay that these players get sorry guys i know it sucks 2021 i know woke your guy this is i know what i'm saying is just fucking crazy everyone that's woke on twitter is going to tweet me they can't believe i'm saying this that uh men generate more money in sports they're faster they're stronger it sounds like i'm a fuck i'm an asshole and i deserve to be canceled get rid of me i'm done my career, take away my career because I, I just said that. I just you, said that opinion. Go ahead. You already took the first month away already. Yeah. You, already. you got them jump started. So I, can, I canceled myself. What I was going to say, though, for anyone who's not the athletes playing in the WNBA, anyone who wants to make money 
learn about the WNBA because Vegas doesn't know. They don't fucking know either. I have a buddy who's made a ton of money on the WNBA and betting really? on games because the star players, when they choose to sit out, Vegas doesn't necessarily update their lines the way they should. Cause they're not even fucking sure who the star player is. And my buddy watches way too much WNBA and banks on it. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> like, so, so that's one aspect. That's but, genius. I mean, the, that's the way to do it. You know, maybe I should do that. <laughs> then you got to watch a lot of WNBA. Yeah. That's you know the what problem. I mean? That's a lot of bounce passes. <laughs> it's a lot of layups. <laughs> yeah. no, and I, I mean, the money he was making is just, you know, thousands, a, 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 a match, you know, or, or a bet rather. And wow. like, it still is not even intriguing enough for me to sit down and learn it. That's <laughs> wow. All right, that leads us to the next topic. Jake Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. Holy mm -hmm. shit. A YouTuber versus a 40-year-old boxer. So, the, but this is, this boxing match is Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather, right? Sorry, I get all these YouTubers mixed up. I'm sorry. Right. No, no, no. But you're right, though. Because this is where it's fucking stupid. So, Logan Paul is going to face Floyd Mayweather, but the most recent news was Jake Paul getting in Floyd Mayweather's face. That's what it is. He'd like to because his hat. yeah, because Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather is so fucking boring that no one's going to watch unless there is something that happened. And look what happened. He took Jake his hat. Paul took his hat. Uh, I've, where do I sign up for this? I mean, I know. holy I shit. Know. I yeah, mean, the I got, hype train is ready to roll on that one. You took his hat. That's all. It was. And it was like a minute of just like a crowd. You can't even see the two of them. And yeah. all you hear is, I, I got your hat. I got your hat. What, what are you, 12? You're like, oh, my God. Why don't you oh say I got your nose? God. I got your nose. <laughs> Dude, that, that would have been so fun. How much? That would have been so much funnier to watch if he was. I got your nose, <laughs> the hype train, baby. I got your nose. I don't know. I got suckered in. I got suckered into the last one where it was uh, Ben Askren versus Jake Paul. I got suckered into watching that just because I just want to watch Jake Paul get his lights knocked out, dude. I, I just want to see it so bad, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Ben Ben Askren looked super out of shape. Um, and it goes back like was it uh, two years ago? I was down in um, Miami for the Super Bowl. Uh, working at the radio row and you know, all these athletes, you got, you see Aaron Donald come through, you see Jarvis Landry come through, you see all these big names come through. And for some fucking reason, here comes Jake Paul sitting down at different tables, doing interviews. And at that second, that's when I was like, God, I hate this guy. Then five minutes later, when I leave to go get in my Uber and go back to my Airbnb, I wanted to use the bathroom. His security kicked everyone out of the men's bathroom. So he could go in and piss alone. And that's when I was like, I hate this guy so much more. The fight is scheduled June 6th, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. I could drive there if I wanted. Mm -hmm. or you can watch on pay-per-view. A ticket to, to watch the fight comes with a free T-shirt. We cost $49.99. Uh, yeah. So if anybody's listening to this and you get, if you want to send me the illegal stream, I will, I will watch, but I will never spend $49.99 for anything ever nothing damn it oh sorry someone just sent me a message um so yeah i don't know i i don't know if th does it make boxing look bad you think i feel like boxing has been on the decline for so long already that like they're just doing these celebrity matches to try and do whatever uh but yeah i mean i certainly don't have like i would you rather watch this or would you rather rewatch Tyson Fury, Fury versus Wilder? You know what I mean? Like I'd rather watch Fury versus Wilder because those are two actual boxers getting in the ring, you know, even Floyd Mayweather, like he's gonna, what do you anticipate to see from him other than this for the whole time? Right. Yeah, this he's, is, cause this he's, is what he does. He's defense. So, and, and then you have, I don't know. It's just like, it's so annoying. It, that's what it is. It's annoying. And, and then for the Paul brothers to just say, this makes, we make so much money, more money than the UFC is like, well, that's, that's because of your, your 12 year old following, 
Yeah. And it has nothing to do with the skill behind it. Right. Like, so yeah, yeah, I guess to your point or your question, I think it does make boxing look bad because they're allowing this to happen, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's almost like, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what it's like. <laughs> it's just, it, it loses its credibility is what I'm trying to say. And there's a reason why I think UFC is becoming like fucking the thing now because of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dana yeah, well, White's figured it out. And the UFC just stays out of, stays out of the bullshit. And if the players want to get into the bullshit, they let the players talk about whatever the fuck they want and they don't censor them. And then they move on. And I think that's great. You know? Well, that leads us to, I think the blockbuster of the summer, Ooh. one of the biggest movies in the world. The reason why LeBron James moved to Los Angeles, this is going to put him in the stratosphere of the greatest actors of all time. Here's another guy like he's, he plays basketball, but now he's an actor. Uh, he's, he's going to be the lead in space jam two, And he's been talking about it and talking about it. And, and here it comes, baby. It's coming to a theater near you this summer. LeBron James, who hates white people and likes to divide his audience and divide people, is going to be in Space Jam 2, the, the, the movie no one asked for. Tyler, are you going to go see it? No, I'm going to pass on this one. You know, it's weird to me. I'm just looking at the cast. It's not even weird, but it's this Michael B. Jordan guy finds his way into every movie now, too. So I'm not surprised to see that he's in this movie too. The hundred and fifty dollar mil- or hundred and fifty million dollar budget is, I guess, not surprising. But again, it's LeBron James. And do, do you think like, what do you think of Maverick Carter? Because he is like, you know, he's like that leech that's there on everything. But is he a leech or is he the brains? By the way, everybody, for those of you who say I, I I talk about LeBron James too much. I'm doubling down. I will talk about him every single podcast from here on out. Okay. That's my brand. I've been talking about LeBron James since he burned that fucking Jersey. So it's going to continue. That's my number one nemesis. I hate this guy. I think Maverick Carter to answer your question is a douchebag who puts on in bad positions. Mm. He, He orchestrates dumb ideas and he, he makes LeBron like he was the one behind the decision. Maverick Carter. He, he's like every mm-hmm. dumb thing along the way. Maverick Carter is planned that shitty barbershop show. That's just all propaganda, you know, where they're just trying to manipulate. never saw, never saw a single episode of that. It's horrendous. It's yeah. terrible. And uh, Space Jam, too. I mean, dummies are going to go see it because Bugs Bunny is in it or whatever. And, you know, you can take your kids. That's fine. But I swear to God, LeBron James literally uprooted his life for this dumb movie, this dumb, dumb movie where he thinks he's going to be a star now, <laughs> but yeah. So I, I don't like Maverick Carter. I don't like his, his little posse. And I know you're not allowed to say posse cause it's racist. You remember when, uh, oh, is it now somebody uh, called LeBron James posse and then it, they tried to turn it into a racism thing. <sighs> Who was it? I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but I, I, I don't know. I didn't know about that. He said LeBron James. Yeah, I want to pull that up because. Yeah, I don't know who said that. That. Um, oh, it was Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson. Yeah. And LeBron tried to uh, turn it into a, a a racist thing. He's like, well, no, we're four <laughs> black businessmen. We're not a posse. And I'm just like, LeBron, shut up. Quit dividing Dude. people. Please quit dividing people already. And quit, you know, you're this. The problem is he really does believe he's more than an athlete. That's the problem. <laughs> sure. And sure. All, like, go get your thing. Don't go do your thing, but just don't tell people. I don't know. I, I just, I'm not a fan. Rack me. <laughs> That's my hot take on space. Jam too. <laughs> Dude. I, I just, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not going to go see it. I have no reason to. Um, the first movie was good enough and I got to watch it when I was a kid you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and that's that, like, aside from everything else, I'm just so tired of the remakes. So tired of the remakes. Well, I was talking to Mark Norman name drop and we were talking about, uh, I wish I had a sound effect for every time I drop a name. <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking about how everything's just gotten shittier music, movies, TV. I mean, 
there's so some great series out there to find. You got to dig deep, but especially the movies, man, like no one's really like, when are you going to see a movie like Shawshank Redemption again? Who's going to make a movie like that? You know, just like a good fucking movie that doesn't involve Iron Man or Batman <laughs> or Wolverine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the funny thing is like, you know, now it's going to be a, uh, a black Captain America, a black Spider-Man. It's like fine. A transgender Spider-Man. But, oh, dude. Have you seen the, uh, like the Marvel, um, the new Marvel comic book characters? No. Oh. Are, are they going woke in comics too? Oh. <laughs> I More than the- you know. So uh, I will. Uh, I wish I could show you. All right. I'll just give you their names, though. Right. So you've got one whose name is Snowflake. You can show us on the screen. Mm. Post. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll do that. But so you've got one whose name is Snowflake. Uh, and it looks like maybe it's twin. His name is Safe Space. Okay. Is this for real? As far as I know. As far as I know, this is 100% for real. Uh, you got another one who... Uh, God damn it. I wish I could just have a list of their names. It, it, it's... I just can't believe it because like another one just looks like a grown-up, like overweight Dora the Explorer. She has the backpack and everything. <laughs> like... I, I can't i just pulled it up i got it right here you got, do you have it yeah yeah they got uh no screen time is one well according to the internet everyone's everyone hates this so they're gonna find out real quick that this is not gonna sell I, yeah and i mean for all i know this already this already like was canned because like this article i'm looking at is a year ago i just like can't believe that they even threw this out there, you know, be negative. Another one's name is uh, trailblazer. <laughs> trailblazer is the, uh, the, the grown up chunky door of the Explorer. I have a thing. I have a, I, I'm, I'm, I have a hope that this is all going to come to a complete halt. It, just like a stop, like a, like a fucking car doing 55 miles and they just throw on the brakes and I'll, everyone just flies out the window because <laughs> it's, it can't go. It can't keep, go in this direction well you you always have i feel like the pendulum swings right and so it's going to swing a little harder the other way and then a little harder the other way and now that we're in this real sensitive world it's like well what does that mean when it swings harder the other way like that's just when people lose their shit and they're tired of this you know I, and that's I where know. we are I, that's where i am and right. speaking of we'll go on to the next topic here uh, i'm down here in tampa florida Mm -hmm. uh shane gillis uh i i i just took him to radio i hung out with him last night at the tampa club are you familiar with what happened with him on snl of course yeah yeah yeah. i was just wondering if he had an asian girlfriend yet (laughs) i I don't know i forgot to ask him (laughs) i go that's how you that's how you beat it (laughs) right that's it like what are you talking about no but i i had never met shane but i but i was aware that he knew who i was and because as soon as he came in the club, he's like, Zoom. like he knew me right away. So when we just started sh- shooting the shit, great guy, good dude. And he was telling me about the whole SNL process. And it was yeah. fascinating. Like, like he legitimately like auditioned and, you know, in front and signed papers, he was a cast member. And like, yeah. and, and then he thought maybe, okay, okay. I think I'm going to be okay. You know, I took off some, I deleted some tweets, but I guess SNL, they just vet you. They go through everything of yours. And then they dig up a podcast that he did years ago where at the time he said, maybe 12 people were listening to it. We're just fucking around. And just from that alone, they just take away his fucking thing. Just steal it from him. They stole it from him because of something he said years ago. And I mean, like, when's, when is it going to stop where you're just going to start digging up people's history? It's like, you can't do that. Well, and I think he's a, I think he's a a pretty big name, you know, but at the time of like, you know, getting that gig, he, I guess maybe his name wasn't as big or reputable. And I feel like if it was, they SNL would have helped bury that rather than just doing what they did. 
It just, it's so stupid. But go well, ahead. What I hear is Lauren Michaels was really trying to fight to do that. But the problem is it's Good much bigger than it's, 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 it's network TV. It's sponsors. It's like, yeah. Yeah. So it, it's a, it's a, it's a room full of suits making these decisions and pressure. But Lauren saw like, listen, we can get, we can weather the storm. We can get through it. The problem with SNL, it's become so goddamn fucking political for no reason whatsoever. And that's mm-hmm. why that's a shitty product in my opinion. Yeah. I, I you know, and that's just another one that I haven't, watched in a long while because of that it's just you know they're, they feel like they're just throwing throwing shit at the wall now <clears throat> um and it seems like any sort of clip that comes out for snl is usually of whatever guest they had on and whatever little speech the guest gave you know any big news about snl anymore is about whoever the guest is and like elon musk a lot of the people had an issue with elon musk being the guest which i don't and understand I- I don't understand that at all. I, 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 they're trying to make this a controversial thing. It's just because he's 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 very smart and and made a lot of money. And I don't know. I really don't know. Opinionated. I don't know. Like what's the like? I, they were saying if cast members didn't feel comfortable around them, they you'd have to perform with them. I'm like, what the fuck are you? What are we I doing? I don't understand it. I do not understand it at all. It makes no sense. Like what? I'd we- love to meet him. I'd love to say I've met Elon Musk. Like, are you kidding me? One of the smartest minds of our time. Like, it's just, I don't know, like, why people would feel uncomfortable around the man. I really don't. That's the thing is, like, do you think that he's going to take, do you think that he's going to be the one overbearing and, like, talking your ear off? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't understand that. The only issue with Elon Musk is that we don't have a few more of them. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it just yeah. makes no sense. Uh, I always say, I've said this time and time again, I'll say it again. I wish I was born in the fifties and I died in 2016. That would have been the perfect <laughs> time to live. And now I'm seeing all this stuff and I'm, and that's why I'm shutting it down. I, I'm getting off the social media. I don't want to hear any of this nonsense. <laughs> I just have you, have you planned your, have you planned your comeback though? After the month? Do you know? I just said, I'm going gonna- to, approach things differently or yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna get a little bit more i want to get i have a couple goals i want to get a little bit more healthier obviously i want to uh, drop 10 pounds um and i i just want to build the podcast i just want to focus on it mm-hmm. because i would love to generate revenue through the podcast hopefully with more sponsors more ads and if you want to sign up to the hundred dollar tier to be a sponsor you're more than welcome to on patreon but i want to get actual sponsors and there's a way to do it. And I got to put all my energy into it instead of running around the country, chasing cash and telling knock, knock jokes. I got to, and I, and I, that's, what's the unhealthy, the travel and all that. And just the, I, 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 I just got to really focus on my podcast and my health. That's all I want to do. Sure. Sure. Uh, sure. But there's really no end game. I just said, I have nothing in the books for like a month and I'm not going to actively pursue anything. So Okay. Well, I will say that the, uh, the episode he did with Earl and Robert. Whoa. Oh, it was amazing. Oh yeah. You like that one? Oh, dude. That was like, how did you even, how did you guys even get Robert? Uh, I have a friend of the show, Ashley, she helps book it and she has a lot of contacts and you know, it's interesting with the pandemic. Like I, I had Bo and Luke Duke on from Dukes of hazard. It's mm-hmm. like, so like you get these people that we more or less, grew up with and people I have always liked and admired and, you know, and it, sometimes they're willing to do it. You yeah. Know? Well, and that's the thing from my perspective is cause I'm, I'm not your age, Chad, I'm much younger, sure. but no, but I, I hear like Robert sharing his stories. I'm like, wait a second. He was involved with that. He was involved with that. That it's amazing. Um, and you can go back and watch that. And- you can go back and watch it. It's up on my YouTube now for everyone to watch. It's, And that's another thing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm building that too. It's youtube.com backslash sit down Zumok. Just hit subscribe and I'm going to be pushing out video every month. Just pushing the content, baby, pushing it. And if you can't sign up for the Patreon, sign up for the YouTube. That's free. Are you subscribed, Tyler? Uh, Oh, yes, I am. Good. All right. For at least a few weeks now. Good. (laughs) I'm happy. I'm very happy. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
no, but I, I thought that, that that's all I was saying. I thought that that was a fantastic, uh, episode. Um, you know, both you and, uh, Earl seemed like you could have went forever just asking him questions, but, Oh yeah, we had a million you know. more to go, but I was <laughs> respectful of his time to keep it to right. an hour. I was like, I had a, you know, I want this guy yeah. maybe to come back someday. That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, we'll be yeah, doing some podcasts sure. with Earl. We call it the bad guy series. Mm-hmm. Once a month we get it, we hook up with Earl and you could jump in too. We're going to be, we're going to find these weirdo celebrities and we're going to talk to them. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we got a lot of things in store. This is also some uh, updates here. I'll be doing this podcast with Tyler each and every week and on Patreon exclusively on, on Mondays. We're doing Mondays with Mazer, my buddy, Tony Mazer, who's in radio uh, for both of our patrons. You could sign up to his and mine just to list Mondays with Mazer. And it's just essentially t- Tony comes on once a month anyway. So he's like, let's make it a weekly segment. Just you and me shooting the shit. And that's just going to be Patreon only. And people love when Tony's on a lot of people listen. So go hit subscribe and uh, we're going to keep pumping this out and we're going to get, go- we're going to get going. Uh, what you got? Anything else you want to say? Anything you want to plug Tyler? No, no, still, still nothing. Still nothing. You know, I, like, if I think you that's ever, the ongoing joke. If you ever want anything, you can, you can find my website online. It's tylersobject.com. It's exactly how it sounds spelled exactly how it sounds. And, uh, um, no, I, I really don't. I really don't have anything. You know, when I get closer to being finished with the documentary, I'll, I'll start sharing some of that, but I don't really want to. I'm so used to like having comics and people pushing stuff. It's so all the refreshing. tour dates and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, like you me. know, actually later or, you know, about an hour from now, you might be able to catch me at the gas station. I'm going to be filling up my tank. Uh, other than that, I'll be stuck in traffic. I drive a five speed. So I really hate how that goes. Um, no, I don't have anything. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have any dates either, I, but I do have the Patreon and YouTube channel. That's it. And if you want to find me, I'm just going to be in my neighborhood in South Tampa, riding my bike around and trying to get healthy and working on the podcast. That's where I'll be. I won't be on the social media, shutting it down. But for Tyler, it's me, the Z man. Thank you very much. That's a wrap. <laughs>